when they needed a mother, was I there? Was I there? When they needed a papa, was I there? Was I there? When they needed a granny, was I there? Was I there? <laughs> Morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, the 7th of February. I'm on my way to a PT session. Um, yeah. I was out pretty late last night. Got home about midnight. Uh, Emma Greed had a dinner celebrating the Men in Business. That was a cute moment, my outfit though. Let's insert photos here. Um, but yeah, quite a relaxed day today. Lots of home admin to do. The thing is, I was on road so much yesterday. Did I pick up my camera? I had a meeting with a brand, so I wasn't gonna film that. And then I was at Albright, which is a women's only private members club um, that I have access to. And then I had to go Jimmy Choo to pick up something that they were loaning me. Like, yeah, there was a lot going on, but also nothing. And so I just forgot to pick up my camera and consistency is the key. So we need to get better at that. I'm watching the rise, and I wouldn't say I'm shocked cause I'm hardly surprised This one's for the ride, this one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time This one's for my wife, could've left a thousand times, just so by my side This one's for the grind, I knew it would happen Alright guys, it's Thursday the 8th of February, in my house we're calling it Independence Day Remember the vlogs are always delayed, so it, it, nothing will be new news to you but Oh, we start a whole new cycle tomorrow. There's a new moon, that's interesting. But we've got a new moon with new management and new infrastructure, just new things all across the board. And I'm so, so excited. I just had quite an intense PT session. And for some reason, my foot is completely dead. Like, I can't feel my toes, it is freezing today though. I, it's so funny, I'm the kind of person, oh, when we get this office done, I'm gonna sit in there all the time and do what I need to do. No, I wanna be outside the house today, so I'm popping to my favorite local coffee shop to sit down and have a coffee and a bagel. I might even stop in at my dry cleaners, I need to talk to them. Um, but I just wanna fiddle on my phone and get some work done. I don't know if I've spoken about this on the vlog, but remember, I might, if you follow me on Insta, you would know, but the citrine I worked with for six years, it smashed and broke after quite a great meeting, which just typically means to me, it's done its job. The energy, you know, it's done. But I was just, I'm on my local high street and I just... Today is the 9th of February and what a cosmic day it's going to be. So we've got a new moon tonight coming in in Aquarius. Uh, big up my dad. Um, very thorough Aquarius, rest in peace. And there are just so many beautiful things. So you would have heard me discuss it in the last vlog, but I officially announced my new business structure today. <coughs> yesterday was my last working day with my ex-management I'm now uh, managed by Bode and I am represented by WME William Morris Endeavour so we announced today given that this announcement is under this new moon and now like a new moon in Aquarius also whilst we're spinning in Pluto also whilst we're in the age of Aquarius I'm sorry I'm geeking out cosmically here um the intentions, the things we set in stone today, or the things we announced today, and I couldn't make this up, okay, are cosmically going to be linked and ricochet for at least the next 20 years. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Like, the decisions and the intentions we set today, and by the by, by the time you see this, you know, we'll have to do this at another stage, um, should you want to. But for me, 
very, very, very powerful day. Like, I'm just so, I'm so happy. I'm so, 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 I, you know, those who know, know. If you get it, you get it. I'm so happy. Also, we start recording season five of Closet Confessions today, which is cool. Um, yeah, I need to get on the tread. Um, I need to finish my manifesto booklet tonight. I wondered why I was struggling to finish it, but now knowing cosmically what's happening today, I get it. Um, yay! Anyway, let's get this show on the road. That makes a change from this morning. This is my first look for the first episode of season five of Closet Confessions. Sorrel and our producer Charlie aren't here yet. Um, but I'm feeling fabulous. Uh, yeah, what else did I want to say? Pretty tough run this morning very tough and very late in the week it's friday for me to be having my first run of the week but i pri i'm i'm now in a space where i want to prioritize weight lifting and strength training and so whilst that was my first run of the week it was my fourth workout of the week baby keep up because we're always going to be changing a little bit and i just made a video that i might insert here um yeah let's insert that video here and then i'll come back undeniable let me stop singing because <laughs> we know that is not one of my talents although i will chew on a grammy if that is in my future egot okay anyway something that i've been thinking about a lot and this is a a thinking point that has come via my husband is my personal obsession i think our personal obsession with likability oh they don't like me i wonder why they don't like me it's gonna keep me up at night thinking about the ways in which they don't like me oh i wish i was more likable amen when really the focus should be in becoming undeniable think about it okay there are many people i don't quite like i'm human but they show up in ways where i'm like oh i don't like them but that talent undeniable i don't mess with them like that but the way they parent undeniable I don't really like what they do over there, but their parenting, undeniable. Because likability is always going to be in flux. The minute you step outside of the boundaries that someone has set for you in their brain, you're not quite likable. The minute you stand up for yourself, you're not quite likable. The minute you loud it in a space where everyone remains silent, you're not quite likable. What is not going to be in flux is you being undeniable in certain aspects, okay? Likeability may get you the job. It's being undeniable that is going to keep the job in hand. Being likeable may get you at a certain table. It's being undeniable that is going to have you eating a six-course meal. How do we turn our brains away from almost dying to be liked into seeing the things about ourselves, our talents and our character that can make us undeniable. That has been what is on my brain. It's the season of being undeniable. It's to the point that uh, myself and Bode are gonna have a print made that says undeniable and put it in our new fancy pants office. I need to show you guys the new office actually. It's really, really important to keep that at the forefront of our minds, especially, I think, in 2024, where things are going to get scattered left, right and centre and the people that we've always perceived to be like or seemingly have a great fan base or all the support. Woo, child! These rugs are getting sent to the dry cleaners. Everything's getting ton up and ton out. And so I think a really good routing for us is to think about the ways in which we can make ourselves undeniable. To constantly be in a place where you have to think about how much you're liked. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. And also, like I said in that video, likability is always in flux. It's always like, whereas there are people we might not like and it's just undeniable that they are the best at what they do. It's undeniable that they are the person for the job so much so that when they don't get that job we are collectively as a community up in arms whether we like them or not because we know what they are best at we know what they were sent here for so when we collectively see a system or people play in someone's face we're all like i don't even like that person but don't play games don't Come on, for reference, Beyonce album of the year. Don't play games. Don't play games. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was on my mind. And I think sometimes, because I'm used to expressing myself either in books or short form content, I'm trying to bring this wisdom and chatter to this channel. So, you know, as much as these vlogs are very normal and you get to see an almost BTS of my day to day, I do want to leave you, the viewer, with something to chew on until the next time you see me. 
me like and for this episode the one thing I want you to take away is the way in which you can craft yourself to be undeniable it is going to be life-changing and personally defining for you in the year of 2024 if you can wrap your head around that what were you sent here to do who were you sent here to be so at the very least when something comes up when someone says your name we don't care about them not liking you all they can say is in that space she is undeniable all right you know how to wait don't you uh, if we can yeah that'll do that right you come on darling yeah you come on come. unregulated charity organization <laughs> with <laughs> They said free for all. Do what you want. Charity number one one five oh six. term next week um which is okay i think um yeah it's only for a week thank you lord right now i am getting ready to do what it do get my ass on this treadmill i'm not sure if i'm gonna go for an endurance run or a hit run i'll be honest my body's feeling like no run but we know that's not an option so also, it's tomorrow is Sunday. I think I'm having a rest day tomorrow. I only have one rest day this week. Oh my gosh, I'm having a rest day tomorrow. Yay! Um, so yeah, I've only been able to get two runs in this week, which is not like me. But I have been able to get four strength training sessions in. So, you know, you win some, you win some. Because there is no loss there at all. Anyway really really struggled during that hit effort today just wasn't connecting and I found myself berating myself like thinking oh is it because you haven't got enough runs in this week are you so sluggish because you've upped your strength training and you know I was just like just set that aside now is not the moment to be so hard on yourself it was simply about survival I always say over on Instagram modification isn't failure and I felt myself really needing to modify that class and I was respectful of my body's desires because I just didn't have it in me. And like I always say over on Instagram and I want to try saying over here, you know, it's not always about hardest, fastest, strongest. Rah. Sometimes it simply is about registering the day and saying I'm present and I'm going to do my best, you know. But you can't show up to every workout expecting some like hulk-like state or shelly and fraser price state it's that's not how it's going to be every day and so anyway i did it and today that's enough would remember that the last time we came wasn't so great uh, but the, the restaurant was amazing it's called Chai Wu on the fifth floor mm, mm, mm. I'm so excited up again is I'm so excited because their food is so good are you excited for the food did you want to stay home and eat beans and rice mm, really. okay <laughs> is it a toy is it a toy? Mm -hmm. Can you drive it? No. Oh. Oh. Speed, 50 miles an hour. So you, so can, you can drive, drive it? Yeah, but not on the roads. 
in the backyard. <laughs> Morning guys, it is the 14th of February. Happy belated Valentine's Day by the time you see this. I am at the gym. <laughs> If she's not at home and she's not at a work do, she's at the gym. So first strength training session of the week. I had my first run yesterday, just so we're all in alignment. This is my 59 week streak, okay? Uh, we're going for two years. Um, yeah, I'm very lethargic though. My period's due today. Oh, you know, we need to have a conversation. And I don't want to run out of this battery because I want to use this camera to film my workout. But your girl is definitely perimenopausal. And let me tell you what's doing my head the worst. The night sweats. Mm -mm. I be waking up feeling like I'm being dunked in the pool at a Southern Baptist church. And there is just not enough water to wash away my previous sins. Soaking wet. To the point that when I wake up in a flurry like that, body knows to just jump up and get a towel. Um, and if this is like the, the preview to actual menopause, I don't know for this womanhood. I don't know, okay? I don't know. It's giving more cons than pros, yeah? Because of course, when menopause does lick and because I know some of you are getting ready to type, let's remember everyone's uh, cycles happens at a different time. On both sides of my lineage, women entered menopause categorically early. On whose level, I don't know. I started my period when I was 11. So girl, I'm ready to put it on pause any, any day now. But the reality of that, living through the physical changes that are coming with with what is oncoming my periods have become so heavy my pms last two weeks like i feel like two weeks i'm normal candice and another two weeks i'm just a scatterbrain i can't remember a thing and shout shout out plant queen on instagram they um pointed out that the word for this is lethologica yeah your girl is lethologicaling okay i'm i'll, I'll be mid-sentence and then i'll just look over into the distance and I'll be like, I'm finding it, I'm finding it. And it will come back to me, but and this battery's already saying red and I need to film this workout, so it's time to stop talking. I'll see you on the other side. I like your outfit. Are you ready to work out? Hello, okay. <laughs> How is good to see you? You're back. Are you coming to lift some weights today? Yep. Your arm is straight on it. Yep. Two right, cool. Let's get you set up. Let's get your dumbbells ready. I'm doing like that. Yeah, good, good. Good to see you. I've got your Nintendo with you. Oh. We measured him, Bode measured him last night. Yeah, he's four foot two. Huh? He's four foot two. Really? Wow. Go on, RJ. Well over the average. You're getting so tall. Look, you're not far from... Yeah, exactly. Two. What is this? Look at him. <laughs> He's straight in there. He's like... Oh. Draw these ones, RJ. No, get, we'll, get, we'll get you a lighter one. Here you go. Get these dumbbells here. Look, you've got your own oh, dumbbells. They're heavy, though. You have to take them quick because my arms are full off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> your dumbbells. I'll get your dad's ones as well. Yes, yeah, Rich. Exactly. Yes, Rich. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Are they too light, are they? Are they too... No? no? Good, nice. Are they a good weight? Let's get your dad's one. <laughs> <laughs> you two better watch out, he's coming for you. I know. He's coming for you. you know As ever, the battery is low. Anyway. My period started. Love that for me. The second it starts, I just feel so much better. I've had a shower. Jim was great. Um, it's Valentine's Day, so some roses from Uncle Bode just showed up. Hence why I'm filling up one of my favourite vases. Let me get these bad boys. Can I call you Rose? Because you're sweet like a flower in bloom. Choo! <laughs> I finally ordered 
yet another new pair of jeans from Levi's to replace a pair that they actually gifted me. I really just need to get my butt into the gifting suite again. But in here, so I met the wonderful, when I say wonderful, you know when someone's spirit is just so in a positive way. I met the wonderful Estee Lalonde um, at Emma Green's dinner. We were sat next to each other and she has a brand called Mirror Water. And she said she would send me some product across. So I've got in here the Mirror Water Rub Solid Balm. A multi-purpose balm. Okay. Non-greasy. A vibe. Smooth body oil. She she highly, well, they're her products. She should highly rate them. Hey guys, it is Friday the 16th of February and it is officially the beginning of London Fashion Week. I am going to a few shows. So, mm, uh, shout out to the Bow Tree Hotel in uh, the centre of London. They are going to host me this weekend. So I don't need to be up and down like a yo-yo. I need to get a run in. My car comes at one. I'll get to the hotel for three decompress my photographer and my publicist come at six doors to the show open at 7 30 i'm going to the tolu coca show um today i am really really inspired by tolu's designs um, and if there's one thing i really want to try and do more of is uh spotlight and highlight and profile black designers you know <laughs> you ain't gonna you ain't gonna ask me twice to do that the camera gonna be charged today okay the camera will be fully charged so you guys will see that but anyway let me get a sweat on my period is so heavy but ciao the game is the game let's do this so this is today's finished beat i used the merit stick as foundation a different tone as concealer i'm wearing merit blush i'm wearing merit I and when I say all this stuff that I've got on my table right now, yeah, look. I've, I've condensed my makeup. It's so light, it's so light in comparison to what I need to walk with. And I'm sorry, the tones are majestic. Oh! I think Merit's the one for you now. Round of applause! Round of applause! About no one said the road was going to be easy. Cheeky girl. No one said the road was going to be easy. Guys, your girl is already tired. I've not even left the house. Okay, I've not even left the house. Anyway, I've got 15 minutes before the car comes. The car that I already pushed back by half an hour. Ciao. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's all gonna be worth it. So. Esme, you're just so friggin' amazing. You're so put like you keep mommy's energy up, and you remind me like, yeah, you're right. That's my job. It's not your job. Your job is to be a kid, but I be appreciate that, it. That's supportive of her mother. Really? <laughs> I can't make this up, guys. Be good to your youth so they'll be good to you. Most of you lot crying about how your youths don't come around you. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. <clears throat> Take a look in on the mirror. Your dirty mirror that you need for clean. <laughs> Take a look in on it. Get some Mr. Sheen, some window lean. <laughs> And clean your dirty mirror and look upon your reflection and say, Did I really do all I can to make the picnic them love me? <laughs> Ask yourself some questions. <laughs> it's not no fake thing. <laughs> Looking at your mirror, your dirty crosses, <laughs> and think to yourself, when they needed a mother, was I there? Was I there? When they needed a papa, was I there? Was I there? When they needed a granny, was I there? Was I there? Did you actually just come up with that? I just made that. You know, in a past life, I think I was a musician because the way yeah. I just come up with things, yeah. it's always, always like, you literally just came up with that song that I actually did. Oh Where is my silver bag? Uh -huh. When I needed a papa, were you there? Were you there? I think it's pretty new. Is my lens dirty? Was the lens? That's better. Um, the room is stunning. Okay, quick tour. They've given me a junior suite, huge bed, sliding doors. Oh, I don't break them. Um, that separate everything. So do that. 
we're no longer next to the bathroom, but open that. I'll do a better tour later. Oh, Jesus. I think I've locked myself in. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Classic candies. Mm-mm. Me not gonna break off them door. Guys, this one's not sliding anymore. Oh, I've been here three seconds. I've been here three seconds. Oh, phew. Um... Yeah, yeah. All heated flooring, love that. Shower. What kind of door is this push? Gorgeous shower. Super clean, you know my vibes. Um, wardrobe space. Okay, you know why they can already take all my money? You guys know my biggest complaint in hotel rooms is lighting to beat face. I just need the teams to get it together. Bowtree, you already win all the awards, okay? This lighting? This lighting? Pay the bill. Pay the bill expeditiously. This lighting is delicious. Okay, because I couldn't do it O T D because I don't have the time. The trousers are by a brand called Amy Lynn on ASOS. The bodysuit is Skims. The coat is Dries. The shoes are Amina Wadi. And the bag is Florian, black-owned brand, darling, black-owned brand. Glasses are Amazon, Spirit by Jesus. Saturday, the 17th of February. Um, it's so funny. I just woke no, I woke up a few times last night, but my sleep was really comfortable. Apart from the fact in any hotel, I just can't get the temperature right. It's too hot, it's too cold, but the bed is so comfy and I feel like I had a great rest and breakfast just arrived. I completely overdid it though. No one's going to eat this much. I'm going to put that back in the warmer. And I got some... Look at this fruit, bro. I feel like I'm in Jamaica. The frick? They were like, we ain't playing. Oh my God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm in my zone. So today... I got my wires crossed and what I thought was an event in the afternoon was actually an after party. Um, so I've got uh, the Labrum show tonight at 8 o'clock and then there's the Labrum after party and then a boss after party. I doubt I'm going to get that one because I actually want to go home and see my kids. I feel like I've barely seen them. Um, but yeah, I am going to hit the shops today. There, I said it. Body, if you see it, meh, you'll see my next credit card statement. I need new clothes so badly, like, everything in my wardrobe is still too big. So me and Cos are going to get into it. You know I'm a Cos girl. Me and Arquette are going to get into it. Me and Liberty and my lifetime 20% discount per, thank you Liberty, we're going to get into it, okay? Okay, I'm all ready now. I'm wearing exactly what I wore yesterday. Grey t-shirt black and grey jeans, white converse, and I've just put my Dries coat on top because spring is in the air. It's actually really mild outside. And my sunglasses that I got from Free People in New... Oh, they are filthy. That I got from Free People in New York over six months ago. Um, so, yeah, this is the look. This is the look. Um, and I'm just going to go stalk the shops because... Yeah, because like I said... Your girl needs help with her wardrobe. So many things are too big. So I will. I'm in such a calm mood today. I will remember to take you around the shops. Usually I'm in and out and I forget to even show you what we're looking at. I'm going to be a good girl today. But let's clean these glasses because they are filthy. My phone, my AirPods, my bank cards. Because last time 
I had a complete perimenopausal moment of Lethologica and could not remember the code to my phone. Yeah, AirPods check. Let's go. decided to stop in my favourite shop in the world, Liberty, and look what I have found. It's always so cool to see your work in the wild. So, so cool. I'm balancing you on a water bottle, so I wanted to make sure that the drop down below wasn't too... Um, guys, I am cream crackage. I was only out for a couple of hours. I've just had quite a hearty lunch. I had some grilled octopus some pasta and then I was like I, I you know I'm, I'm I'm a Caribbean woman I need something sweet okay to close out the meal granted the waiters did warn me about the side of the uh, size of this cake right and it's called the 20 layer cake but girl wait right there who who was finna do all of that the fuck this is going home to feed my 50 11 children delicious though chocolate devil cake peanut butter filling oh girl but chow mm -mm. Oh, i might have a tiny bit more of a bite because i'm gonna make myself a coffee <laughs> Hi guys, Bode's here. Bode, say hi to the vlog. Hi. How are you? Tired. What? From doing what? No, I'm just... Now I'm the one that's remembering we've got a brand to <laughs> No, listen. You know when, when you watch something from the screens, you know, like I said, I like to indulge, you know, watching it from the screens and then when you have to get into the middle of it, I, I don't like crowds, too many people. You don't like crowds and too many people. I don't, I don't. Mister, drag me across the crowd at every event yeah, to go and talk to people. There's a difference. I, I, could, I could drag you across the crowd to speak so but you see when there's just too much happening i get sensory overload you know that mm. when there's just too much happening and yeah i i just feel drained i don't know i can't put you need to on. raise your vibration raise no, the maybe vibration I need a little bit of courage Ra courage is not what you're lacking let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's not even chat shit right yeah. i have really started to minimize my consumption of fashion content I just can't bear it. You know this. You know he knows all the typical content that I engage with, and I'm really trying to change all my algorithms. It's just not hitting the way. <laughs> I was actually out today shopping, guys. You saw that, but you know these bits are necessity because of how clothes are fitting. And I remember walking out the third shop and just thinking, I'm really fucking bored of shopping. I'm bored. I'm bored. Well, what is interesting to watch? I mean experience is how you engage with it and your knowledge of it thanks that's what's interesting because i think that's something that a lot of people don't know mm. which is how much how deep your knowledge is mm. of that app there mm. in terms of the curators the creative directors mm -hmm. the designers the process um and how you can just look at something and just say, you know, that's that person's design or that person's design. It's interesting to just see that. I, you know me, I love knowledge anyways. Yeah, and I think that it, I think 
our pools of knowledge are very different. Like no one can out knowledge body on world content, like historic world events. No, but that's your your knowledge is world events and world history. Your world events, world history. That uh, is your thing. Current affairs. Current affairs. Oh, Mr. LBC himself. Huh? Don't lie, because even the kids sing the theme tune. What? RJ sings the theme tune. He's like, dun dun dun. <laughs> they are people that listen to on their specific people. I know, I know, I know. It drives I me crazy. I, I don't listen to everyone. But then sometimes Esme will come home and start to have a conversation with me that she picked up on on LBC. She was like, so dad was listening to the radio, right? And so what do you think about people striking in this area? All right, babe. It's five o'clock. UK, for example, for you to... Hi, babe. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, who is that? Hi. Did they just let you up? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to... <laughs> You're not helping. I'm trying to straighten myself. <laughs> what just be straight up. You okay? I think. You sure? Yeah. You cool? I think so. You promise? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nah. Perfect. I don't know if that chair, I mean, not chair, that um, table's gonna be an issue for me. Oh. You can do like one looking at each other as well. Oh, oh, oh. oh nice. <laughs> Perfect. You're blocking my head. Oh, sorry. <laughs>